Salam viewers and welcome to my channel KB's Cooking. Today I bring you a very tasty and spicy dish which goes beautifully well with anything you want to have with it, mainly rice, dosa, idli, bread, etc. etc. I also am going to share a lovely mild and creamy potato and green peas vegetable mix to go with this egg curry as a side dish to offset the spiciness. So you will see as we go along how easy it is to prepare both these dishes called egg curry and potato and green peas vegetable mix. So let's get started. To introduce you to all the ingredients here for the dish today. Now on my right hand side are the ingredients of the egg curry. I shall start with, yes, I have here seven eggs which has been boiled and two extra eggs which I'm going to break into the pot. I have one and a half uh, tomatoes, about three green chilies sliced. I have for tempering two or three big red onions chopped fine and this is the tempering curry leaves cumin seeds and mustard seeds a little bit of tamarind juice and coriander to add last and also to make it creamy i'm going to add a cup of carnation milk the spices that goes into the egg curry is this i have about three and a half tablespoon of Baba's fish curry mix, salt to taste, two tablespoon of coriander powder, and one teaspoon of garam masala. These are the spices that goes into the egg curry, together with just a teaspoon of ginger and garlic, a teaspoon of turmeric. Everything is in the bowl here which I'm going to mix with water to prepare the base of the egg curry. Now, on my left here, this is for the second dish, which is the potato and green peas vegetable mix. I have about five potatoes here, which has been boiled, peeled and cubed. And a tin of green Piece. I have here one tomato chopped small, a couple of green chili sliced, onions and for tempering the usual curry leaves to uh, mustard seeds and cumin seeds and two big red onions and for the uh, paste, the curry paste for the vegetable curry is very simple. Same here, I have meat curry powder, one tablespoon, and korma powder, both under babas, with a bit of ginger paste, garlic paste, turmeric paste, and garam masala with salt. This is what I'm going to mix with water for the vegetable dish. So, everything is ready. We can begin cooking now. Start with the egg curry first. Switch on the stove. I'm going to pour in a cup of oil. Vegetable oil. tempering. First the onions. And the mustard seeds, cumin seeds and curry leaves. I'm going to close the lid just for a second. Let me check the pot. The onions are browning a little bit. I am now going to Add the tomatoes and the chili. 
to saute it for just a while. Then I'm going to add our curry mix. I just added a bit of water to mix it all up. And I'm going to pour it into the pot. And I'm going to add a bit of water. Form the curry base. I'm going to give it a stir and I'm going to let it boil just for two minutes. I'm going to switch on the stove. We can start with the vegetable dish. I'm going to pour in a little bit of oil. about half a cup and I'm going to start with the onions and the tempering which is cumin seeds, mustard seeds and curry leaves. I'm going to give it a stir and I shall close the lid for the onions to cook. We check the spot. curry as you can see it's boiling at this stage I'm going to add filling now the curry is boiling I'm adding a cup of carnation milk to it and I'm going to add the coriander and I'm going to add now the eggs I'm just going to make a little slit in the eggs I'm going to add it one by one. I make a slit so that the curry and the flavors all get into the eggs. Just a little slit, that's all. Okay. Now, for the authentic taste of egg curry, I'm going to actually break in two eggs. I shall check the eggs first by breaking it into a cup. The egg is good, so I'm going to add it in. Another egg. It's good, so I'm going to add it in. Everything has gone in. I'm just going to give it a gentle stir and I'm going to let it simmer for about five minutes or so. Now I'm going to check our vegetable pot. The onions are cooking. I'm going to add the tomato and the chili. And I'm going to add the curry paste that I have prepared for the vegetable mix. It's going to be a very mild one. I'm going to add it in. Stir. I'm going to add a little bit of carnation milk to make it creamy. I'm going to add the part of the coriander leaves now. Give it a stir and this has to boil for about 3-4 minutes. Let's check our vegetable pot. It's now boiling nicely. I'm going to lower the flame a bit and add our potatoes which has been boiled and cooked already. And the green peas and a little bit of the coriander leaves for color and flavor. I'm just going to give it a gentle stir. As you can see, it's thickening just two minutes and then this dish will be ready for the table. But it has to simmer for two minutes. Garlic curry. 
boiling and thickening. Now I'm going to let it sit in the pot for two minutes before it's ready for the table. Our egg curry and side dish of potato green peas mix is ready to be served. Goes well with hot steamed rice. I hope you will enjoy this lunch here. If you like this video, then please subscribe and share it with your family and friends. Thanks for watching.